Hi, Dr. Wagoda. Hey, how are you? Good. So we want to talk about Botox and the trends that are happening right now. It seems like it's very popular and it's becoming almost um, just a part of the, the anti-aging regimen for some women and men. And Botox is the most popular procedure performed by physicians. Um, it's been around for about 30 years and as you said, it's becoming very routine. A woman goes to get her hair done and nails done and Botox. And um, most patients do it every four to six months. Um, obviously it's used to treat wrinkles and um, there are some myths about Botox. Um, you know, it's used pretty much for the upper face, the forehead, the crow's feet, the glabella. It's not used primarily for the lower face, that's where we use fillers. Um, people think it's a poison, it's not a poison, it's actually made of bacteria, but it's been used literally millions and millions of times. It's very safe. The side effects and complications are extremely minimal and rare. I'd say the most common problem you can have is bruising, which usually goes away within a few days. Um, in a very rare instance, you might get um, some lid drooping, but that's very rare. Um, some people also think that you can't lay down, you can't stand up, you can't exercise. There's a lot of myths about that. Generally, I tell my patients not to exercise the day that they have their Botox after the treatment, but other than that, laying down, standing up, jumping up and down probably doesn't make any difference. Um, but it is very popular. People also use it um, not only to reduce their wrinkles, but to really to prevent more wrinkles from, from developing. Um, it's fairly economical as compared to surgery, so in the recession it's become more popular where patients may be putting off having facelifts or eyelid surgery. They come in for Botox and fillers just uh, to feel a little bit more refreshed. Okay, great. What about, um, I heard that Botox reduces stress. I don't think Botox reduces <laughs> stress. Maybe because you look better, you feel less stress. It, it is actually treated, uh, used to treat migraines, however. So there are patients who come in with migraines um, every three to four months for their treatment, and it, and it actually helps them a great deal. Okay, great. Well, thanks for that advice. Okay, you're welcome.